Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the terrain in one minute. Create your own custom terrains by using the terrain, the nature terrain generator in Icron 8. And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. The first step, what you need to do is you already have the Icron 8 3D animation software and also already get the nature terrain generator from the official site. If you not yet get the nature terrain generator, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions to get the nature terrain generator from the official site. You can click into the first link and this link is going to redirect you to the official site. Once you already get this, then you install it properly. And finally, you will find your plugins at here. It is under the plugin. This is the Icon 8 plugin nature terrain generator and here nature terrain generator. Right. And if you want to create your terrain, you can just just choose as demo. I'm going to choose 32 times 32 and the terrain tiling 3 times 3. The texture set you can choose your texture set there are about 40 40 choices here right once you choose ready you can click generate terrain and here you just need to wait for a while the computer is generating the terrain for you and later you can just edit it by using the more you, you can just edit that here right now you can see totally three times three you can see one two three right one two three four five six seven eight nine totally nine of it and next you can click edit let's say if you double click to choose this then here this is the more And you can just control the up and down like this. With the center, you can control up and down. Let's say here if you want to have a hue like this. And if I choose the center one, this is the side. It is going to automatic dragging the side like this. Right, let's say here, this one. I want to make it down. It is going to influence it as well. Here I want to have a hole. Now you can see actually this is your terrain. And if you want to use it already, then this one you can just make the texture to be make the opacity to be zero. So you don't see this. Right, that is the whole group. If you move this under the group, you can see the opacity. If you move it, the whole terrain will automatically follow it. See. And if you want to make it become a terrain, you can just click the first plane and hold the shift, click the last plane. Then is to attach the to attach it attach it to the group pick the parents click the group then it is automatic group already like this then under the group you rename the group rename it as terrain 01 right you can save it as a prop click the content click here click the custom The prop is at here. Click here, click custom. Click the prop. Then you click save. Prop 01. Right now, it's save it as a prop. If you want to make it as a terrain, it is also okay. You, you can drag the prop to here. This prop can be reused again and again 
But what about if you want to make it become a terrain? Back to the scene. This is the one. If you want to make it become a terrain, then just click and right click it, convert to terrain. Now it already become a terrain. And then we just have a look. This is the terrain. But then you can see the collision is only, only at here. So just right click it. Right, this is the terrain. And you can go to the contents under the template, under the custom. Click the terrain. Okay. The terrain is under the set. Click the terrain. Custom, and you can click save. It is going to save it as a terrain. Like this. Right, click save. This one, I should name this as terrain 04. Do not repeat the name. But what about the collision? You can see this is the only the only collisions. I delete it first, I don't want I don't want it to just have this collision part. So I may just reuse the prop under my custom prop. Again, I drag drag this prop in. This is the terrain that I created just now. And then I right click it to And here, under the modified, I merge all the sub prop. Once I merge all the sub prop already, wait, you can see just now it, it have all the sub prop. I click merge sub prop. It is going to combine everything like this. Then I right click it, convert to terrain. Now you can see this is the proper terrain and it have the collisions. Once it have the collision already, if if you try to apply apply an apply an avatar on that, choose an avatar, a template avatar. Right, I put the avatar at here. Then, I want this avatar to automatic follow the the terrain, walk on the terrain. Right. I can try to use the motion director under the female, apply. Now she is going to walk on the terrain. You can see now. This terrain really have have the collision to let the avatar to walk on that. Now this terrain everything work prop everything work properly. And this is the terrain that we want. So I stop this. I back to the scene. Click the terrain and then go to the content. The terrain is under the set here, custom. The terrain 04, I'm going to replace this. Click and override. OK. Now it is going to override the terrain 04. This is the this is the terrain. For the for the first time it only show show this box have the collisions, then that is a failure. If you want to make sure it's success, you have to make sure all the collisions all the collisions are distributed properly like this this is a successfully terrain and you really make it it is really easy and that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create your own 
natural terrains by using the natural terrain generator and you can create any of the terrain in just one minute and save it as a terrain for your iPhone 8 3D animation software with the proper creations. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing. See you!